Next, we look at evaluation in ESD around the question, how is evaluation integral to ESD? In other words, how are participants involved? Can you use an appreciative inquiry approach to enhance ESD? Um, and here we look at a very simple model that is centered on matters of concern, scoping co-engaged action learning processes in ESD. And here we draw on um, the Handprint Care Project and also on a paper that we wrote for um, UNESCO on the changing environments of ESD. And this simple model came out of the 1990s and has been expanded and developed and practically used for decades now. And it's centered on um, a tool for looking at what are the type of con um, interactions that are taking place. And you see right around the center, the cognitive, the old social, emotional and behavioral dimensions, these have still relevance um, because what they can do is they can produce the competencies for engaging matters of concern. But often the talk is dominated by a teacher. The thinking is all done by the designer of the course. There's not much scope for the person to do it. So this type of evaluation tool is really important to ask questions like, is there a tuning in process? And here in the handprint care, we use photos and um, deliberations so that there's a tuning in and talking and thinking. And there's space for the students and participants to talk and think together about the concerns. Then story sharing, building a deeper understanding through talk and thinking work that happens together. So this is a very practical quadrant one um, tool for the introductory part of an ESD process. Then looking at local inquiry as the students take up more investigative work, they can go and explore the local area to touch, tune in, talk together, talk to others and think about a particular problem. And this happens as an ESD process evolves and takes shape. And here the evaluation can be extended towards handprint action. Um, what type of um, work are the students coming up with, talking about and enacting together. Um, so this is a very useful practical tool to use in a classroom situation, in a community situation, or just as a reflexive tool for a team working to see if there is scope for the Nexus learning actions towards a safer, more just and sustainable future to be more inclusive and all embracing um, in ways that produce um, evaluative learning and um, uh, a progression of competences that um, can be tracked. So these are the quadrant four, three and four um, activities where the students um, deliberate and take action on a particular idea. Now, of course, you don't have to end with action. You could start with action. And um, that's why this is such a particularly useful tool for evaluative work uh, around ESD transactions. And here's some references that you might find useful to explore further.